How's it, Aloha gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. We're live over here at the Maui Ocean Center as today we are continuing to talk about the Destination Management Action Plan, rethinking tourism here on the island of Maui. We're welcoming in now Liz Yanel, Program Manager for Hui O Kavai. Ola, I'm back with Megan Degaya from the Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau. And we know for, uh, for a while now, there's actually been a law over here on uh, Maui, right, Megan, about mineral-only sunscreen. Tell us about that and how that all happened. Yeah, so the Hawaii Tourism Authority's Destination Management Action Plan called us to educate the public, educate visitors about this sunscreen law, which outlaws the use of chemicals in sunscreen. So we're promoting mineral-only sunscreen. And one of the ways we've done that to educate visitors, make it accessible to everyone, Kama'aina as well, is to have 24 free to use mineral only sunscreen dispensers at popular beaches and other sites also. So this has been actually an amazing partnership between the Hawaii Tourism Authority, county parks, DLNR, and private businesses also. Mm -hmm. And accessibility, that's such a key part of it, the fact that they're free, they're located over there at the beaches as well. Um, tell us, uh, Liz, about Hui O Kavaiola and, and some of the work that's being done to support this initiative. Sure. So our volunteers at Hui O Kavaiola and Maui Nui Marine Resource Council have been wonderful over the last year and half and dedicated each week to go out and clean and also refill the dispensers so that there's the free mineral only mm -hmm. sunscreen available at all of the dispensers. Okay, very good. And that's obviously it takes cool, cool, many hands going into making it happen. How has this gone with the, with the visitor industry in terms of them learning about it and knowing about this law as well? Yeah, it's been a huge educational tool and it's really the embodiment of regenerative tourism in that it benefits Kama'aina and it's a healthier choice for everyone. It benefits Malahini and of course the Aina as well. It's really just better for our water quality, whether that's in the ocean with coral reefs or just our aquifer and drinking water in general. Definitely, and when uh, these people are being able to go out to the beach, these dispensers, again, they're free, accessible at all these very popular places. And then with the volunteers, what are you hearing from them when you're going out? P people, at this point, they know that this is happening and the fact that mineral only, that's, that's what's allowed. Yeah, we're trying to get that spread more and more so people understand that this is free and available for them to use because mineral-only sunscreen really helps to pr protect our coral reefs, and this is one way that we can all do something to support healthy coral reef ecology and better water quality around our islands, which is so important. And it's wonderful that this is up and about so that visitors can learn as well how this is the proper way to use sunscreen mm -hmm. and that you can make great choices and make it easy for mm -hmm. them, right, to make a better choice for ocean health. And you just touched on that very important fact, the ocean health as well, and, and why that's so important, what we're putting on our bodies. Is it very important before we enter the water? I think so, yes, absolutely. We study ocean water quality at my organization. That's why we link up because it's so important to us. We rely on our oceans in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what that motto is, bringing these organizations together to make it happen. Uh, what is the best resource to utilize for people who want to get more information about mineral-only sunscreen? And that's why we're over here as we speak at the Maui Ocean Center. These are examples, actually, right, Liz? This is all mineral-only, correct? Mineral-only. This is a Maui-made product, Maui Vera. These are some others that are just mineral-based, and they work so great. They might be have a little bit of a white paste, but you know you're doing the right thing. Gotcha. So if, and if we need more um, examples of that, obviously it's available online as well. But if people want to kokua and, and support these initiatives, Megan, what's the best way? Visit holomua.hawaiitourismauthority.org. Perfect. Megan, Liz, mahalo nui. Now come on back with us. Stay with us on High Now Daily. We're live at the Maui Ocean Center. Continue to talk about ways we can kokua here on the Valley Isle. You're watching High Now. We'll be right back.